Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe if you're into your rugby content, you want to see how to train better for rugby. We have our free rugby development coach app. You can download it, you can do all of our training, you can, uh, you can compete with your friends, you can do so much on our app for free. We also have our pay programs, obviously. But I'm gonna teach you how to train seven to 14 year olds, okay? So maybe you're a seven, you're in that age bracket and you're really keen to get good, I'm gonna show you how. If you're a parent, you got someone in that age bracket, you got a really keen kid that really wants to improve, um, then yeah, this is for them. Or maybe your parent, you got a kid and they just can't get game time. You just wanna help your, your kid, girl, boy, it doesn't matter, get more game time. Well, this is gonna be how you do it. So in that age bracket, seven to 14, it's generally the kids that have developed uh, the earliest, usually are the best kids in that age bracket. You know, usually they're a bit faster, they're a bit bigger, and they have a bit more confidence than everyone, or it's the kids with older brothers that are doing a lot more wrestling and stuff in the backyards. And so it's like, well, how can we level the playing field? And so what we want to do first is look at the skills, okay? So if you can get your child's skills, and everyone can really develop skills because it's just practice, okay? It's deliberate practice. Passing is a big one. So catching and passing, I'll put these two together generally because they can be built the same. Catching for kids, you want them catching different objects. In our, in our kids' junior bodyweight uh, program, we do a lot of catching stuff in between sets. So when we're doing our physical stuff, we do resting with catching exercises. So we're building the brain's ability to be able to react and catch. So catching, getting them juggling, three ball juggling, really good way for them to develop their brain. Along with their passing, doing lots of little passes up to themselves, doing bigger passes, okay? Working on their footwork, working on being able to uh, catch and pass while running. That's their all skills within themselves that you can build up. So they're the first fundamentals that you can do, and you can increase with your child. So if you don't know how to do that, we actually have a catching and passing program done by Cody Hawkins. Really good, um, it is part of the Junior Academy. Now the tackling, tackling is also a skill. So tackling, before you even make a tackle, you need to learn how to track well, okay? So you need to learn how to set up someone for that tackle and start uh, getting kids confident with being like, yep, I'm gonna tackle that guy, I'm gonna get that guy. And then knowing how to set someone up so they don't get stepped, which is really big when kids, well, when they're kids, right? Like they, they're a bit scared, they're a bit hesitant, they don't want to duck into a tackle. So when I teach tackling, it's all about lots and lots of reps in those key areas. So one, before the tackle even happens, you know, what's, where are they lining up? Where are they setting up? And seven-year-olds, obviously eight-year-olds, like that's not going to happen too much. Like they're going to stand all bunched up, right? But once you get up to that 14-year-olds, it's, it's the kids that are starting to talk and be like identifying where they need to be, who they're gonna have, are they talking with their friends? So um, tackling is such a big one. If you can help your kid become a good tackler, man, their confidence will go through the field. So we have our tackling and wrestling program, um, part of our junior academy too, you get that, um, which goes through a lot of those drills. So, but think of it as a skill. It can be trained, it just needs to be. So even, if you're not gonna do this right, maybe you should go and do some extra wrestling on the side. Because I find the wrestling gets the kids confident with their ability to go into tackles. Um, I know I'm just pointing at it, right? Okay, running the ball, another skill. So you'll find that in those junior age groups, a lot of the kids that make the rep teams are often the, the, the ball runners, right? The people that are always running the ball can like, we, when you're watching games, you notice ball runners, right? And so like that's another skill. So playing a bit of touch footy can really help with that because it gives them confidence running the ball. Um, just getting to run and score um, from that younger age group. So this is the stuff, this is your absolute basics, right? Now you, seven to 14 year olds, even like I say this for, for 21 year olds who wanna go pro um, and even professionals I talk to, I'm like, well, what are you lacking here? Because this is the first place you should be looking. All right, this stuff, is easy for me. Like I can get anyone's abilities up, but like this, you gotta put the work in. And then you look into the next column. So like this is as you're starting to age, you're starting to understand your position. So like when you're young, I want you to have a massive skill set and be able to do all these things really well. And then as you age and then start looking at, okay, which, which skills do I really need? Like throwing for line outs, kicking the ball, um, high ball catching, um, scrummaging, position awareness. 
or is it jackling if you're a number seven or like I think everyone should be able to jackle actually about steal the ball in rugby union. This also applies to rugby league by the way if you just if you're on this for rugby league. The skills are component <coughs> that's the most trainable. Okay, this is very trainable too, but like this is very genetic dependent. This you'll be surprised at how much you actually have potential in this to gain. Okay, and that's just gonna take some a bit of work and a bit of extra dedication. So I'm gonna get to the physical side of things because that's what most people come here for. Um, so physical ability. So like if I were to test people out, I might come over here. I might come from here. Yep. So if I were to test people out, I would probably I, I look at all these different things, right? So like I don't like testing kids, like I I don't think they find it fun. Um, they, they, you know, some might. I just like to, to put them on the program and from the program, you'll be able to see where they're at straight away, right? Because we're sort of testing all these anyway. So we're seeing how many push-ups you can do every single session. Um, now, when I train seven to 14 year olds, I don't like them doing too much. I like them to play more sport, right? You can get a lot done with two half an hour sessions a week. Okay, of just covering these exercises here. Okay, so what you want to be able to do is look at their 20 minute sprint time. Okay, biggest thing is speed. How fast are they? All right, so 20 meters, get them to line up 20 meters, two cones, film it from side on. Okay, and then once you've got your film, all you need to do is go back and have a look at your film, and you can actually get a really accurate time because you can cut from the moment they took off to the moment they get past the 20 meters all right and what you want to see is that come down and down and down obviously as they age they should come down anyway if they've been training um push-ups unbroken really big one for upper body strength right like how many push-ups can they do and it's really simple and if they can do a lot of push-ups um with just their body weight and they can do it well well then that means they're going to have a lot of coordination so a lot of coordination gains come with this and if a child is really coordinated, and you see a lot of gymnastics um, kids, generally they can apply that in other areas. So they then they can get the coordination here, and then they can start applying it over tackling, catching, passing. Okay, um, chin ups, really big one. A lot of kids can't do many chin ups these days. I don't see many kids being able to pump these out, but um, I've seen a lot of kids really improve their chin ups doing our body weight program. Um, we have our three broad jumps, so that's just three jumps in a row. I'm gonna put these videos up over here. And then five single leg bounds. So these ones here, they're gonna show us how much power you have. Okay, these ones are just um, strength. Okay, these two strength, upper body strength. Now you could add in a lunge, how many lunges they could do on each leg, but with lunges it's hard because you can sort of just keep on going. Like there's nothing, there's, oh, it's only your head, your head space not stopping you when you're doing a body weight lunge. Um, or a squat, like a body weight squat, I don't think is, that useful for kids. So in my body weight programs for our junior academy, I don't even put body weight squats in because like it's not a movement they really need. They can do lunges instead, which is gonna help them with the tackling because a tackle is like a lunge with, with a hinge. Okay, so you're gonna to need to do those two movements. And then a naughty curl, which is like a hamstring exercise. Okay, um, and I find that's a really good one for kids because they're quite light, they can actually do um, they can hold it quite low for 10 seconds and it's a really good one. Now, here's where you should be spending most of your time, okay? So like, if you were gonna write your, your kid and not do our program, which is totally fine, a body weight program, right? You do push-ups, right? You need to do normal push-ups. Just for how many you can get, yeah. You wanna do some explosive push-ups and you wanna do some deep push-ups, okay? When you do your deep push-ups, all right, it's gonna prepare the shoulders, it's gonna get you good at, um, being really open here, okay? So like that's like deep is like this, okay? So with your push-ups, um, it's, just, it's just your stock standing. Like kids can do that any time. You can get down and do it with your kids if you need to. Um, so I'm making this video for more of those parents who you know, really want to train their kids because that's who our app is for. It's for the parents who really want to help out their kids. Um, yeah, so you got push-ups, lunges. Now we've got our normal lunges. All right, kids can add weight to that. It doesn't really matter, but um, if you're not, just do normal lunges. Lunging, the, just the pattern alone will help them with their tackling. It'll help them get that dip that we need. Because um, like I noticed from teaching so many kids how to tackle was that they didn't know how to lunge. 
And because they didn't know how to lunge, they didn't know how to drive through that tackle. And so just teaching them lunges actually helped with their tackling over here. Okay? So lunges with their hinges. Same thing for hinges. Fast hinges, normal hinges. Okay, hinge is just bending. Okay, bending from the hip. That's a hinge. Um, so you have your fast and your normal. Handstand holds. I like that because it's a big coordination. It's really good for their shoulder stability. Um, as you know, rugby, you, shoulders are up there. Um, Chin-ups, obviously, sprinting, broad jumps, they're big ones. They're, like, if you just did that, right, if you just did those and you did, like, one or two sets, man, like, and you did twice a week, you would get really good. Now, in our bodyweight programs, we do twice a week and we do one sprint session. Um, or, like I, I say to people, if you can't get that done, just do one um, one of these, one of the body weight sessions and then one of the sprint sessions and your kid will change like crazy, like crazy. Like uh, I have, I have witnessed some absolute crazy transformations of kids who are not confident on the field, not making even their normal side and then doing, following this for what I put out for them um, and just totally changing. Now in my body weight programs, I change it every four weeks. So like obviously the, the, we still have our staples, but how we do it will change, okay? And the rep ranges will change and it will work for anyone because you're always, when you're training kids, especially they're, um, um, with, with this uh, body weight stuff, you're going to where they can't do anymore at all, okay? So you, you're going to go to fail. So I want you to count. So say you're doing push-ups, you're going to count so they cannot do any more push-ups, all right? And when I say that, it's like where they are technically not doing it right. So if they're, you know, bum down first and coming back up, um, or they can't do any more chin-ups, right? They can't even do one chin-up. All, all they can do is just lower themselves down as slowly as possible. So they can also do that. Now, this is the next question. A lot of parents ask, when can kids start the gym? Now, kids can start the gym when they're ready, but like they've got to be mentally ready. If they can't do these things, right? If they can't do that, then there's no point in going to the gym yet, okay? Like, you can start them off with weights. Your body weight is just a weight, okay? It's the exact same thing as doing weights, all right? But one's an external weight, which, no, it's not gonna start your growth or anything. Doing too much may start your growth, okay? But like, doing two sessions a week is not gonna start your growth of, of, of weights, okay? So 14 years old is what, like, most gyms will accept. Okay, but like if you have weights at home, like I'm in a home gym, you could start them earlier if they wanted to. And all you'd have to do is see these exercises is replicate that with weights. It's the exact same thing. Okay, you still want to do all your plyometric stuff. You still want to do your jumps. You still want to have your broad jumps in there. And then, yeah, just increase the weights and just each week slowly um, have a rep range. So say you're doing eight reps with them. Each week, try and add two more reps or one more rep. Okay, and once they get to 10, increase the weight a little bit more. And, that's, and you will get them super strong that way. Uh, they will get super, super strong. Um, but yeah, like I said, if they're 14 years old and they really struggle with this stuff and they don't have a lot of confidence, start them there. Start them doing, de- doing that. And you'll be amazed at how much kids change. And, and like, yeah, I've said it before, but I've seen kids change like crazy. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, if you have any questions, you can send me a message on Instagram, Rugby Development Coach. Uh, where our website is rugbydevelopmentcoach.com and our app, you can download our app, Rugby Development Coach. It's free. You can put your own workouts in there and yeah, you, or you can purchase our Junior Rugby Academy, which is currently, if you're watching this right now, it's half price. So you can get the three months for $90 instead of $180. So I'll put the links below. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you think that this will help someone else, please send it to them. Like that helps me out. Cool.